Hello, in today's video we're going to take a look at uh, three little cigar box guitar amps um, that I made recently. Um, one, uh, I won a bunch of stuff at an auction um, and uh, among the stuff at this auction was uh, a few radios and radio parts and things and uh, I managed to score a couple of the little series filament amplifiers that were just that were just uh, absent their radio shells it was basically just amplifiers um, and actually one of them uh, come to think of it came out of a, a record player maybe even both of them came out of a little 45 inch uh, record or 45 rpm rather 45 inch would be huge <laughs> 45 rpm record player um, this one here is uh, built into a little brick house um, cigars box um, and basically it's real simple um, has a I think it's a 50 C5 um, output a tw uh, 12 a v6 um, and a 35 watt a 35 volt rather um, a rectifier tube I think it's a 35 w4 uh, this one has the same tubes in it, uh, but you can see here it's this fit really nicely inside there. Um, and this is kind of a tiny little box, but um, but it fit really nicely in there. So I uh, decided to do that. Of course, we're going to need some breathing holes for a, a tube amp uh, this small. So um, what I've done is I uh, created a couple in the back. So. We have a hole down here where air can come in and also where the uh, cord can come out um, and the air should circulate up and, and through this hole here. We also have, uh, it's very simple, no on-off switch on this thing. Um, I decided just to make it where you plug it, unplug it, uh, to turn it off and on. It's very, very simple. Uh, one volume knob and an input and that's it. Um, but uh, we're going to take a listen to all three of these. Uh, also, this light was on it as well, so I decided to mount it. And have it come out the front which is kind of cool uh, this like a few a few other designs of mine that you'll see um, it can open and close so you can actually get uh, sort of a closed and open back cab sort of a sound uh, if you want uh, which is neat um, this one is made in a it's more of a generic kind of uh, cigars box um, these were kind of the cheapos uh, premium house selection Cox house houses blend Churchill Sun Grown. Um, kind of a cool box though. It's pretty or pretty square. Um, cool thing about this, the top comes off, and all you really have to do is take this. You take your uh, volume knob out and uh, pop the lid, slide it out, and you can see right down inside there we have the switch for on off on this one. Um, input jack and this has the same tubes as the uh, the other amp uh, that we just looked at the 12 AV6 50 C5 and 35 W4 um, I had to cut down this chassis a little bit because it was too big uh, for this housing so cut it down also had to cut down the uh, shaft of the volume pot uh, so it would fit recap the whole thing as you can see all the new caps down in there but this thing fit pretty well too. This was one of those um, that was, I, I, this was probably in a record player as well, and it kind of sat in the front of the record player and the chassis mounted to the speaker. So the speaker and chassis are mounted together and I just have two bolts uh, holding the thing to the box. But we'll, we'll take a listen to this thing too. Let's get it sealed back up. Uh, the third one that we'll listen to is uh, a little bit different than these other two. It's a solid state. Uh, this little guy, and it's battery powered. This is the first one I made. Um, this is made in an acid cigars box. These are cool boxes because they're nice and sturdy. Uh, they are finger jointed on the edges. Uh, real wood. Um, that's actually solid wood on the top. Uh, this bottom is ply, but the, the sides and everything are also solid. Uh, I don't have a screwdriver on me right now, so I can't really open this thing up, but it's solid state. Um, here, this amp was actually stolen from another little little amp and put into this box. Um, the handle was stolen off like an art supplies box that I had, and I think originally these would have been pullers for, 
like kitchen drawers. <laughs> so that's like a kitchen drawer handle on this one. But we'll listen to it too. The cool thing about this one is uh, you plug, you, it's battery powered and you can plug it in. It'll also run on a 12 volt um, supply. Um, but uh, you just plug your instrument in and then it comes on. Uh, unplug it to turn it off. You got volume and tone. So we'll, we'll give a listen to all three of these. Okay, the first one we're going to listen to is this little brick house, and we're going to use a uh, cigar box guitar. You've probably seen it in some of my other videos. Um, I like this little thing because it's, it's light, it's compact, I can sit on the couch with it, um, and it sounds pretty good when plugged into, into stuff. <laughs> Okay, next one we're going to listen to is this little uh, Cox's House Blend box.
this one's a little noisier than the, than the last one, but uh, still sounds pretty good. And finally, let's take a listen to uh, this little guy. There's actually two channels on this, a bright and a normal. We'll go into the bright. It's actually been a minute or two since I've had this out, so let's get the, knock the dirt out of the pot here. Okay, so that concludes our little video on cigar box guitar amps and guitars. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the bottom here somewhere uh, for more videos like this in the future. And y'all take care.